once upon a time, a fisherman named Udasima lived in a coastal area of Japan. He had a small sea boat of his own. Udasima used to go fishing in the sea early in the morning. He never went to the deep sea because if he could catch a few fish in the coastal area, he would sell them in the market and the little money he earned would pass his days. Udasima spent less time on his work for a living. Rather, he spent more time traveling around the area, drinking his favorite wine and singing songs. One day, Udasima had just reached the shore after catching fish from the sea. When he saw seven or eight children on the beach playing with a small turtle on the sand, the children beat the turtle with small sticks. When the turtle hid its head in fear, the children were hitting the turtle upside down with sticks. Udashima went to the children and said, Children, do not hurt the turtle. Release him in the sea water. One of the children replied, we are having a lot of fun hitting the turtle. This is our game. Udashima left the place with his fish basket on his head. After selling fish to the fishmonger, Udashima was returning home when he saw the children still hitting the turtle on the seashore in the same way and making noises of joy. He went back to the children, called all the children and said, If you release the turtle, I will give you the entire 10 yen I earn today. You can have fun eating your favorite food. The children agreed. Udasima gave the children 10 yen from her pocket, the entire earnings of the day, and the children went away very happily. Udasima released the turtle very carefully into the sea water. He said, Farewell, friend, be very well. May God heal your body injury very soon. The next morning, Urasima went to his boat to fish. Suddenly, he saw a turtle bigger than his boat coming out of the sea. Urasima had never seen such a big turtle before. Seeing this giant turtle, he got scared and started running back. Turtle said, Friend, don't be afraid. I won't harm you. Yesterday you saved my child's life. So I came to meet you. Udasima stopped and slowly returned to the turtle. The turtle said, you are a very good person. We will never forget your kindness. I would be happy to gift you something. Udasima said, I don't know if I am a good person or not. 
but i realize when someone is hurt he suffers the turtle said please ride on my back i'll take you to our palace under the sea i will give you the best gift there udasima sat on the back of the turtle the turtle carried udasima into the deep sea the turtle said friend please hold my back tightly now we will go under the sea you have no fear now you can breathe under water udasima went deep under the sea and was fascinated to see the wonderful empire of mermaids he thought alas i spent my whole life in the sea but i did not know that there is such a wonderful world under the sea the turtle brought udasima to the front of a dragon king's palace there about a hundred beautiful names welcomed udasima with flowers he was taken inside the palace where the world's best food and drinks were arranged and arranged everything for entertainment and the gift items were lined up for him the queen of the mermaids came forward and said to udasima dear friend all these arrangements are for you you are welcome the mermaid queen herself served udasima the best wine in the world and the beautiful mermaids started dancing for him udasima went on drinking wine one after another and watching the dancing of the beauties there is no night and day nor want hardship or sorrow only joy and delightful pastime and entertainment udasima was thinking this is heaven udasima joined them in great joy he too began to dance with the beautiful mermaids days passed weeks passed months passed and udasima lost the sense of time he was only intoxicated with pleasure and luxurious pastimes after a long time udasima asked the mermaid queen there is no day and night here so i don't know how long i have been here could you please tell me how long i have been here the barmaid queen said dear friend we cannot realize any time in this state of pleasure and joy udasima said i think it has been 3 months since i came here i don't understand how the time has passed I should go back now. A sumptuous farewell reception was organized for their dear friend Udashima at the behest of the Barbade Queen. On the last day, Udashima drank wine eagerly and sang and danced. with the beautiful mermaids and names he enjoyed it so much that he did not miss anything of heavenly happiness 
the mermaid queen presented udasiba with a very beautiful small black velvet box and said this box will never be opened could buy friend udasiba once again rode on the back of the giant turtle and returned to his old place Coming to the seashore Udashima was surprised so much had changed there in these few days big houses and markets had been built there big commercial ships had been built and there was a lot of noise from people but Urasima did not recognize anyone all were new people now Urasima looked for his boat it was gone without understanding anything Urasima stepped on the road to his home Urasima was more surprised to see someone else mention exactly where his house was he asked a person how did it change so much in 3 months where did my house go the person said you are wrong we have been saying this city like this for the last 50 years Udasima asked some old men passing by Do you know Udasima whose house was there An old man said I heard the story from my father that 300 years ago there was a fisherman named Udasima in this area who mysteriously rode on the back of a turtle and went to the deep sea Udasima paused for a moment chanting several times in his mind 300 years, 300 years. Udasima looked at the small black velvet box given by the mermaid queen as a gift Remembering what the Marbid Queen had said this box this will box never be opened never be opened never be opened Unable to make a proper decision Udasima opened the box and immediately a blue smoke came out of the box and touched Udasima's eyes in a blurred vision Udasima saw the messenger of death standing in front of him and he was saying Udasima 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 your time is up time is up time is up you will die now you will die now you will die now you will die now dear friends if we look at our own lives we'll see that when we spend our time in pleasure entertainment luxury and idle happiness we think that this is the real life of happiness we lose the sense of time time is no one's slave it runs in its own way when our senses come back we all become udasima and there is no time it is time to go